This is Eagle News, Washington, D.C. I'm Anna Kui. May 10th is the birth anniversary of Brother Felix Y. Manalo, the religious leader members of the Church of Christ believe as the messenger of God in these last days. How are they commemorating this day? Take a look. May 10 is a very significant uh, date for us members of uh, the Church of Christ because we are commemorating the birthday of the one whom we recognize as God's messenger in these last days in the person of Brother Felix Y. Manalo. He played a very important role in this church to which uh, we belong, the Church of Christ or the Iglesia Ni Cristo. Well, as God's uh, messenger, he was uh, instrumental in uh, preaching the true words of God written in the Holy Scriptures. And uh, as a result of that, uh, the true nation of God, Church of Christ, emerged uh, in the Philippines in 1914. And uh, this is the same church that uh, reached uh, the Far West uh, on July 27, 1968 as a fulfillment of another prophecy of God written in the Holy Scriptures. And uh, we are glad that through God's help and guidance, this church is now global, can now be found in 150 more than 150 countries uh, all over the world. The entire uh, church or all members of the Church of Christ are remembering the works, uh, labors, and sacrifices of God's uh, messenger in these last days. And at the same time, we are also reminded to put into practice uh, the teachings of God he taught to the entire church because this is the best way to fully secure our salvation. And in addition to that, we continue to uh, uphold the important works he started, like uh, the works in the field of uh, edification, and uh, also in the work of propagation. We need to edify all members of the Church of Christ, especially during these tough times, to strengthen them so that uh, even in the midst of trials and difficulties, they will remain true and faithful members of the Church of Christ. And in the field of uh, propagation, we follow the lead of our executive minister, Brother Eduardo Vimanalo, in intensifying our effort to propagate the true gospel because we firmly believe, as attested to, by God's words written in the Holy Scriptures that this is already God's last word of salvation. What I remember about Brother Felix Vimanalo is his work ethic of spreading the gospel and it reached so many people. Um, knowing how much he labored for the church and how much persecutions he had to endure, he serves as an inspiration for me to remain strong and fight for my faith no matter what trials and tribulations I face in life. I admire his strong faith and perseverance. He fought for his faith, persevered, and with God's help, he was able to reestablish the church as prophesied in the Bible. And all of us are witnesses on how God's prophecies still continue to be fulfilled. For me, Brother Felix Manalo um, provided a way for us to understand the truth. So without him, we would have not known about the true church. And so we're very grateful about his contribution to our faith. The way I will commemorate Brother Felix Manalo's birth anniversary is by teaching the youth here in the church what he did um, to spread the words of God and how they too can be like Brother Felix in propagating the words of God to everyone around us. Personally, I 
commemorate our brother Felix Manalo's uh, birthday by inviting my co-workers, my friends to attend our Bible missions. And to commemorate his birthday, to remember him, is to share my faith to the whole wide world because it's the least I can do. And to commemorate him on his birth anniversary on May 10 is to help people all the more know of the words of God that he preached. It Brother Felix Y. Manalo for me is an inspiration not only for, for me but for all the members of the Iglesia in Cristo in these last days. And uh, he is a role model for each and every one of us and he is also uh, a great leader and inspiration to every uh, members inside the Holy Church by uh, sharing our uh, faith to non-members and uh, being united with the church administration. I would say his selflessness because he put the needs of the brethren in terms of their spiritual well-being um, before his own. And uh, it's, it's really reflected that he had a genuine concern about how they we're doing spiritually, and to me that, that really stood out. 